What is going on everybody? My name is Sam and today I'm going to show you how to install Forge for Minecraft 1.11.2 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you need to do is, we need to go through what I like to call the Minecraft checklist. Now typically the checklist has three items, however this checklist is only going to have two items. The first being, is your Java up to date? And the second being, is your library folder present in your user folder? Now if you do not think your Java is up to date and if you cannot find your library folder in your user folder, which I have right here in my user folder, then you need to watch the two videos that I have created on how to fix both of those things. Once you are done watching those videos, you can come back and continue watching this one. However, if you already have done both of those things, then we can continue. The first thing you need to do is click the link in the description below. It should take you to the 1.11.2 downloads page for Minecraft Forge. As you can see, I'm here in Safari. Now, typically there would normally be a download recommended on this page. As of this video, there is not a download recommended as the 1.11.2 mod is still in its early stages. So all we have now is download latest. However, I typically recommend to always download the latest version. So that is what we will be doing anyway. To download the latest version, click where it says installer and your download link will appear in the upper right hand corner. One thing to be wary of about ad focus, you will get some strange pop-ups. So here's how to get around it. As you can see, this one downloaded a quote unquote flash player download, which is actually not flash player. So we are going to get rid of that. Now, if it says something like this, where it says, please continue to install, just close it and don't click anything that's here. Your download link will appear right here in the upper right hand corner. Click the skip button and your file will download just like that. Now let's get out of here. Let's drag our installer.jar to the desktop. You should get something that says this, Forge 1.11.2, the version number, installer.jar. Now what you wanna do is open up your Minecraft application. In your launcher, click new profile, name it 1.11.2, and then under use version, select release 1.11.2, then click save profile. Select that profile and then press play. All right, once that is done, click quick game. Now double click on your forge installer.jar. Click open. After clicking on the .jar, you should get a window that looks something like this. Now, if you're curious as to what this is right here, this new thing that installs with, that installs with Forge, it just collects statistics. And I leave it checked because I want to support the developers of Forge. You don't have to, but I would recommend it because it helps with the development of the mod. So make sure this is checked if you want it, of course. And of course, make sure install client is selected, then press OK. Hopefully, you should get a success notification that looks something like this. Press OK. I'm going to drag these two files into the trash now. I will now reopen my Minecraft application. In your profile drop down menu in your launcher, there should be a new Forge profile. Click on that, then press play. So as of this video, Forge is currently in beta. It's, it'll say major issues may arise. However, I have been using Forge 11.2, 1.11.2 beta for quite some time, and I haven't noticed anything catastrophic. So I would say it is actually pretty safe. All right, now how do you install mods? Since I installed the 1.11.2 version of Forge, the mods that I will install will also need to be 1.11.2. The mod that I will be using for this demonstration is Optifine. I will leave a link to that in the description below. It's optifine.net slash downloads if you want to go download the Optifine mod. So how do we get to our mods folder? Open up Finder, click Library, Application Support, and scroll down to where it says Minecraft. And as you can see, there is a mods folder in your Minecraft folder. If a mods folder is not there, right click, click new folder and manually create it. If Forge, of course, installed correctly. I'm gonna click on my mods folder and I will drag my optifine.jar into my mods folder. And that is it. Now, mods like optifine are, rel are relatively easy to install. You just drag and drop the .jar into the mods folder and that is it, you are done. However, some other mod developers might have something else up their sleeves. So depending on what mod you install, you need to A, make sure it is 1.11.2 compatible and B, read the instructions to see if there are any other things that are included with your mod. For example, some mods might have another component that is required in order for it to work. So you really need to do your research on the mod that you are getting in order for it to work correctly. Also another thing, and I get this question often, not all mods will work together you need to make sure that all of your mods work perfectly together. Meaning your game isn't crashing all the time and there 
aren't any other problems with your Minecraft game. So don't try to go crazy on the mods, don't try to install a million mods, go piece by piece and make sure that all your mods work correctly and work great together. Alright everybody, that is it for me. All my social media links are in the description below, so I highly encourage you to follow me on there if you want to stay tuned for more updates on when new videos will be posted. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.